God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. You are blessed. It has been a while I came live for, to, to teach on the prophetic. And that is because I have been very busy. And the Lord is going to help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, today I want to talk very quickly on the, the impact of tongue in prophecy. Or, or the, the impact, you can call it the impact of tongues with, to your spiritual eyes. The connection between speaking in tongues and your spiritual sight. Alright, so that's what I'm going to talk about now. Let's pray. Father, I give you praise. I give you honor. I thank you for your sons and your daughters that are watching me. I declare that your grace be made available upon their life in the name of Jesus. Lord, you are great. You are king. There is nothing that you cannot do. I release your grace upon them now in the mighty name of Jesus. As he speak, the spirit entered into them and quickened their mortal body. Lord, as I speak right now, let the spirit of prophecy, let the spirit of the miraculous, let it enter into everyone listening to the sound of my voice and quicken them into the prophetic in the name of Jesus. Let the ones that are already in the prophetic be shackled. Let the ones that are in need be be elevated and taken to the next level. Let the ones that are designed to receive the Spirit now in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for his done in the name of Jesus. So I said I want to speak very quickly on tongues and his relationship with the prophetic, with your spiritual eyes. So now the Bible said, if we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. John, um, John, one of the apostles was speaking, said, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Before he wrote Revelation, he said, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. You must be in the spirit for you to assess things from the spirit. So uh, one of the ways that keeps you in the spirit is praying in the spirit. All right, so tongues increase your tenacity of being in the spirit the bible said except a man be born of the of water and of the spirit he cannot see the kingdom of god cannot enter into the kingdom of god so now the spirit world the the language of the spirit world is can you can only communicate spiritual language via tongues so when you stay in tongues you are simply allowing the spiritual world to begin to operate in your life. Now, tongues make you to have access to the spirit world. And you know, the human being was customized by God in such a way that the realm you dwell most is the where is the realm you will benefit from most. All right, the realm you dwell most is the realm you will benefit from most. So when you are speaking in tongues, you are praying in the spirit. You, 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 you pray in the spirit, you are speaking in tongues, it keeps you in the spirit. And the more you remain in that realm, the more that realm will confide in you with information that necessarily you are not supposed to know, that necessarily you, you don't have access to. But the realm begins to open it to you because it always sees you around it. All right, so it is all is very possible that you can live in the spirit and walk in the spirit. Are you hearing me now? A, a son of mine asked me one time, he said, Daddy, why is it that you don't struggle to see into the spirit, you don't struggle to prophesy? Somebody will just ask you something, all of a sudden, you have started releasing things and you have started seeing in the spirit. Why is it like that? And I told him that the secret is that I am always in the spirit. And he said, No, Kai, it's impossible, it's impossible for. A normal human being to be in the spirit for 24 hours and I smiled the reason is because when you are praying in the when you are praying in tongues you are getting used to the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit will be releasing words to you and then I, I told him something I said he, he asked me he said how do you manage to remain in the spirit to stay in the spirit all the time and I told him the secret is in meditation I told him I can pray anywhere I can meditate anywhere are you seeing it so the bible is speaking in psalms chapter one from verse one that he said blessed is the man that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly nor stand in the ways of sinners nor sit in the seat of his comfort but his delight is in the law of the lord and in his law does he meditate day and night now it doesn't really necessarily mean that the young man that is for god will not be among the ungodly 
it doesn't mean that he's not going to meet those who are not of God. But what the Bible is trying to say there, he mentioned the real fact when he said, in his law does he meditate day and night. That is the secret of remaining in the spirit. Meditating on the word of God. As you are meditating and you back it up with speaking in tongues, praying in the spirit, you begin to accelerate. You begin to assess God. You begin to enjoy God. You begin to enjoy things from the spirit. It opens you up to that realm. What makes people know? What makes people know that you are in this realm? Is your ability to communicate. Any man that cannot move, cannot communicate, is confirmed dead or unconscious. Are you seeing it? But your ability to communicate either with the mouth, either with, with signs, but there must be a means of communication. It's what makes men see you to be a man, to be human. The same way in the spirit, there must be a sign of communication. For, for, for spirits, for, for, for the spirit of prophecy to know that you are in that realm and ready to receive from that realm. So it is a waste of time to speak to a dead man. The same way it is also a waste of time for the spirit of God, the spirit of prophecy, to speak to somebody that is dead to the spirit world. You need to get into the spirit. You need to stay connected all the time. You need to stay connected all the time. I can be walking on the street and be praying. I can be walking on the street. I am always constantly meditating because it is the secret for remaining in the spirit. For a life itself is nothing compared to what God has given to us, which is this realm of the spirit. They are the access to the spirit world. The Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. I want you to follow these things very well. And you will grow the more in the name of Jesus. I have been receiving a lot of testimony. Sons and daughters have been operating in the prophetic. The Lord is going to increase you. The Lord is going to increase you. And as time goes on, we are going to be having a lot of live broadcasts where I will attend to your questions. Some of you have had a lot of dreams that you don't understand. We are going to also interpret them. I'm going to pray for you. Things are going to change in your life. As the Lord leave it, grace will speak for you in the name of Jesus. I Kabbalah spotted Ebiyanikias either. There is a young man that the Lord is showing me something about right now. You had a dream and you saw a fruit. Lebrahaf Yakikas eat Evrelikas. You saw yourself removing something that looks like a fruit. And then apart from that, I saw this is like a marriage. I saw this is like a wife, but I see like there is a barrenness. There is barrenness in the family now. And you had a dream where you saw a fruit. You were holding a fruit in your hand. The Lord said I should tell you that he's metamorphosing that fruit into fruitfulness for your wife. All right. Um, I declare grace in the name of Jesus. Let that yoke of barrenness break in the mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. There is also a young man, a, 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 a lady. You are watching me. You are a woman. You are into ministry. But this is not yet... Um, a Sunday service running ministry. It's like a praying ministry. You are running it, but you are confused. You have been praying for the prophetic, but it's not manifesting. The Lord said increase is going to come for you. After this broadcast now, there's going to be an increase, a shift in the prophetic for you. Are you hearing me? There's going to be a shift in the prophetic. Teculas epicatas I thank you, Holy Spirit. I am seeing you around the certain part. I ran the certain part of the country you are. I declare grace upon you in the name of Jesus. As many of you that are watching, I release the grace of God upon you. I release the blessings of God upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not see shame. You will not see frustration in the mighty name of Jesus. The grace of God will rest upon you and cause you to prophesy in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. So we have come to the end of this broadcast and I'm going to see you in the next teaching. Also on the 19th of this food, it's my birthday. All right. So I'm looking forward for your prayers, your wishes, your gifts, all of them. They are very necessary. All right. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you in Jesus' mighty name. I'm going to see you.